welcome to a demonstration of SIP AutoHack. Before starting a scan, remember to select the correct target and interface. By default, SIP AutoHack will scan a Class C subnet. To change this, simply modify the net mask value. The tool has identified two PBX servers on the network. SIP AutoHack now starts the extension enumeration by making use of the default scan. The default scan tries to identify extensions that observe common patterns. If an extension is found by the default enumeration scan, then SIP AutoHack will proceed to scan the neighboring extensions. For example, SIP AutoHack just found extensions 200 and 600. To scan the neighboring extensions, SIP AutoHack will scan for extensions in the range of 000 and 999. It also identified extensions on the asterisk PBX. These extensions are 6000, 6001 and so on. At this point, SIP AutoHack will try to guess the password for each of these extensions. The password for extension 600 on the Communicate server is 600. The password for extension 6003 on the asterisk PBX is 1111. Finally, we can configure our IP phone to make use of these credentials. This gives us access to make phone calls which are internal to the PBX. Sometimes, it also gives us access to make phone calls to outside systems and normal telephone numbers. Thank you for watching this presentation. For more information, please visit enablesecurity.com.